Today I'm thinking of the heat in the sauna. It's been about a month since my last visit, I guess. My hair always gets flattened whenever I wear a helmet. Let's go. This sauna seems to be on the second floor. Looks like there are loading facilities too. Wow, it's spacious. Very spacious. Oh, it's incredibly spacious. This might be the largest sound I've ever visited. Check this out. Unlike many private sauna in Japan, where the restroom is often outside the room, here each room has its own restroom inside. It feels just like a hotel room. There is a shower and a bathtub too. Amazing. And the bathrooms are provided. Though there's no bed, it's pretty much like a hotel room in every other aspect. The sauna room is very bright. I've always wanted this kind of small joint lighting. Hope I find the lighting that I like. There are two chairs here. This sauna room can accommodate up to two people. I've got it all to myself this time. Trying to watch TV might break my neck, but a sauna room with a TV is rare. Maybe I'll fill up the bathtub, a uh, cold water bath. It's been about a month since I started losing weight. I've lost around 9 pounds. Bringing me down to the about 167.5 pounds range. At 167.5 pounds, I still got a long way to go in my weight loss journey. I hope to get down to around about 161 pounds in the next month. At 161 pounds, I should be in pretty good shape. In the following month, I plan to lose about 2.2 pounds, aiming to conclude my diet by early May. Based on my 7 years of workers experience, I believe things will go as planned. Yesterday was chest day, so my chest feels great today. I'm all set. So let's head to the sauna. Let's go. Wow, it's quite warm and really bright. Usually, it's dimmer, making it hard to focus the camera. But not today. With all these light, it's very bright. The footage must be great. The sauna temperature is 95 degrees Fahrenheit this time. The last sauna I was in was 18 degrees Fahrenheit, so this is significantly hotter.
It's hot, hot. The upper part of the room feels much hotter. The lighting in this room makes the muscles look good. That was close. I forgot to take off my accessories. It's been a while since I made that mistake. If you don't take these off, you will definitely get burned. Everyone be careful. Now, I slowly enter the sauna. Finish the first set. I'm not sweating that much, am I? Hard to tell on camera. I usually don't sweat much, but in sauna, even I start to sweat a bit. Let's head to the cold bath now. It's been a while, so I'm pretty scared. <laughs> wow, that's cold, super cold. I want to mask myself up to my chest. But this is intense. I've gotten used to cold shower in sauna room recently, so my body isn't used to this. When was the last time I took a cold bath? Maybe the first time I went to a sauna? Uh, I'm starting to get used to the temperature. I put in the bathroom. Time for a little break. I bought some water, but how do you read this? It's brand of mineral water I've never seen before. No pronunciation guide.
見たことないですよねはあ。<音声><音声><音声> But I haven't had the time to go to the barber. My hair is naturally curly, so it just curly up when it dry naturally. I just wet it and apply some gel. When I straighten it with a、uh, hair iron, it becomes very obedient and straight. It's nice to have hair that listen to me. When I ride my motorcycle with wavy hair and wear a helmet, It gets all mixed up, so I prefer straight hair for riding. But now my hair has grown longer, making it look not so great. I plan to reduce the volume of my hair at the barbers. With my current hair, my head looks bigger, not very stylish. I think my head is on the lager side. I plan to get a haircut next week. Now, on to the second set. I'll do a lolly. It s a y up to three times, but once is enough. The heat is t o n the vaporized water, increasing the humidity and making the sound room temperature go over 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Wow, I sweated a lot after doing the lolly. It's because of the high humidity. My body is gleaming. Can you see it in the video? You should be able to. I usually do two sets of sauna routines going into the sauna, cooling down with a cold bath or cold shower. That one set. I do this twice. This boosts metabolism. After the sauna, I feel exhausted but can sleep very peacefully. A 60 minute session could probably fit three sets for most people. But since I'm adjusting the camera, recording, and talking, it t a k e me longer. Today's visit is to a sauna room in Yukushi in Shinjuku, Tokyo. It's not just a sauna, there seems to be a hotel as well. Though this sauna room doesn't have a bed, it's well equipped. I wonder if guests staying at the hotel can use this sauna. The weekly afternoon plan is very affordable. I pay 3000 yen for 60 minutes a day. There are other saunas available for 3000 yen, but this one has high quality facilities. Above all, it's spacious, has a TV, and can fit two people comfortably. The resting space is About three times the normal size. I wasn't asked to promote this by the company, so rest assured, I'm just paying and promoting it my, on my own. It's about time, so I'll take a shower and wrap this up. I left the bath towel in the other room. Got it. I think I've managed to shed a little more body,、uh, body fat than last week. I want to shape up properly over the next month. Looking forward to great body. The spaciousness and comfort made me stay in the sauna till the last minute. I ended up rushing to change and pack up.
All set. This ramen shop in Shinjuku is particularly famous attracting tourists from overseas. I used to eat here often when I worked in Shinjuku. Since starting my workout, I've reduced my ramen intake to once every 2 to 3 years. I could eat it on cheese days. But somehow, the habit has disappeared. I still eat hamburgers frequently though. Maybe I try ramen after this weight loss period end. So that's it for today's vlog. Please subscribe, share comment, and leave laugh. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.